Jack Turner or Jack Wildlife. Hi. <laughs> I am local like here. Yeah, Jack Wildlife. That's what yeah. you know. That's what the people will call me. And you're good. Stand in front of your pieces. Oh, okay, actually, that. Yeah. Well, I kind of got pieces a little sprinkled around. Yeah, that's good. There are three of them. Um, yeah, so I'm Jack Wildlife. I'm I'm a local <laughs> Annapolitan. Been here my whole life. I'm known as the guy who's in the park crouching down in the woods with his camera. Yeah. It doesn't sound good, but you know, to, to do this, that's what you have to do. So um, that is who I am. Thank you to Joe for, for putting this together. I mean, this is an amazing show. Thank you to all the other artists that have all this great work, paintings and sculptures. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll try to be pretty brief. So I do wildlife photography, which really aligns with what I do for work and what I do for my like civic service, volunteer service. Um, I work in environmental restoration, finding messed up ecosystems and figuring out uh, ways to repair them to make nice habitat for birds and bees and, and all of our other local um, flora and fauna to, to have a nice place to live. Um, I also work with the Severn River Association. So if anybody here lives in the Severn watershed, I need to talk to you. We need to get you involved with SRA and we need to help protect our local environment. I think all action starts at the local level. So, so thank you for being here. Um, I'll tell one quick story um, about, let's see, what's a good, the snow geese, which is the, the, I think the biggest piece that I have here in the gallery. So these is, this is actually a flock of snow geese. It's actually hard to tell what it is. It's almost abstract uh, when you look at it. But beautiful fabric. Yeah, I made a puzzle out of it. It was impossible to complete. <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I, did. I, I could never finish it. I gave it to a friend. I said, if you can do this, more power. <laughs> so, so these snow geese, this actually wasn't even taken on. I wasn't planning to take a photo. We were driving with my girlfriend on the eastern shore, and we saw a couple cars pulled over at a farm field. Um, and so we decided to pull over and check it out. And there's a few thousand of these snow geese all littered on these farm fields picking through the corn on the ground. Um, and so I ran and grabbed my camera, because I had it with me, thankfully. And as soon as I get back to a good spot, they took off. I don't know what happened, but they decided one took off, two took off, and then 2,000 of them are in the air. It was the loudest sound ever, all these wings flapping and honking. Um, and it was really nice, it was right at sunset, so there's a little bit of pink coming through in the background. Um, and actually, if you can find, there's one that's banded. So on its neck, <laughs> on its neck it has a band. If you can find, if you can eye spy the one snow goose with a band, I will, you'll, you'll get a drink at Galway Bay after this. So, so have at it. And thank you everybody for having me. I'll, I'll, I can talk about all these photos for days, but I won't do that here. So let me know if you have any questions. You gotta talk about the great egret though. Gotta talk about the great egret. Yeah. In the window. In the window. Yeah. yeah. Taking like, off in yeah. Yeah. Where, where um, is that? That was in Chincoteague, Virginia. That is actually a snowy egret. So it's the smaller of the yeah, egret species. Beautiful. There's a great egret here that's yeah. posing. Yeah. This was a snowy egret taking off. Um, I don't know that much to say about it. It was, uh, it was puddle jumping. It's it going from little marsh pond to marsh pond um, in the coastal wetlands of Chincoteague, Virginia. I don't know if anyone's ever been there. Um, and I, I just really like, I mean, the light on its face was really nice, and that's kind of the highlight. And I just love the kind of, there's some detail on the underside of the wing, and I just love how the feathers kind of curve out a little bit, and it's just got its feet kind of, it j had just taken off from like right here, and it was just going, you know, just over here. Um, and it's eaten frogs and fish and snakes and clams, you know, anything, anything it can get. They're, they're not picky. Most animals... They're not very picky about their food. They'll, they'll, they'll pretty much eat anything. But yeah, and I like the white and the blue. It's just a nice, nice color. It's a good composition. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, so seriously, find me and ask me anything about any of the animals. I will well, talk. Maybe talk about. I will talk for a long time. <laughs> oh, this is the, so. This is a ruby-throated hummingbird. It's it's actually the only breeding hummingbird we have here in Maryland. Yeah. There's only one breeding species. It's ruby-throated. Um, I love this because I was able to get really close, which is not very normal for the hummingbirds. Yes. Kind of hard. Unless you get them at the feeder, um, they're, they're hard to get. And I love the light was hitting perfectly. You've got great detail on the feathers and that, that red, just vibrant red on its throat patch. That's the male. The females don't have the red. The bird In the bird world, all of the, the males are the pretty ones. Yeah. And the females, because the females are actually more valuable. 
um, they are very plain because they need to blend in. They're mm -hmm. they're high value, mm -hmm. so they don't want to be. You know, they don't want to yes, stand. Out. <laughs> they don't want to stand out. Yeah. Females are always yes. more valuable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I found a very smart man. And I found it. You found it, right? Where'd it go? 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 Where'd it go